Hi, I'm Sherry, founder of The Longest Day, and today we're at Clerkenwell Design Week with one of the most famous brands that we actually showcase on our website. It's called Tonit, and this is the, I want to say founder, but I know it's your grandfather or great-great-grandfather, Michael, that founded the company right. in the 1800s. It's really impressive. Yes. 1819. Do you want to just tell us a little bit first about the, the historic story of the company and how it evolved oh, and everything? That'll, that'll take about 40 minutes. Make, <laughs> make it, make it. We'll I'll do we'll it short. short. Um, well, my great-great-grandfather started the company um, in 1819. He started experimenting with bentwood, which he invented actually, and using it in, in furniture making. And then uh, by doing this, he created the number 14 share, which was at that time the well, the le least expensive chair in the, in the, in the market it cost about, compared to three kilos of pork, 10 liters of beer at that time. There's no currency, which you can compare it with. And which was a bestseller, became a bestseller up to 1930. 60 million shares were sold. And um, then we continued with, you know, modern design, um, the, the Bauhaus furniture in the 20s. And up to date, we're still making a modern furniture, contemporary furniture, plus, of course, the classic lines of bentwood and tubular steel. Yes, um, I mean, that's, that's so impressive. I just think 60 million, wow, 60 million chairs you produced and you sold. Um, one of the chairs that we carry through our company that represent you is the Bentwood chair. And you did a collaboration, a modern version with Bolin. Can you just tell us how that collaboration came about? Well, they contacted us wanting to experiment um, using their floor material actually on the, on the seat pad on the, of a chair. And uh, that's how the, we, we kind of experimented with this. Mm -hmm. And we felt it, it looks nice also, so yeah. this, this is a side effect. By, by experimenting, we found a new material, a new way of uh, uh, um, furnishing our you know, upholstery uh, uh, of our furniture. So you would call that maybe a bit of industrial design or? Um, more of an experiment. <laughs> I mean, it's not really design. You would, you would create a new piece of furniture or a new piece of uh, thing to use, a device, that would be what I call design. Uh, it's more like um, a testing of materials. Yeah, I think that ultimately that's what design is. It's a combination of materials that foster into something and becomes a trend, whether you call it industrial or whatever you want to call it. Um, how would you see like the future of your brand going? I mean, because you have such a historic brand. Do you see collaborations with other designers or other, other ways forward or? Well, for Tony, it's very important to have uh, to work with new designers, new designers, uh, well-known, experienced designers. So we will continue doing this, but we we'll always keep the the classic lines, the two bentwood and tubular steel lines. But the collaboration with designers and and you know, I don't I don't want I don't like really the word fashionable, but yeah. it has to be something serious, something mm -hmm. that people would like, and it's also long-lasting. We will always seek for that. If you had one one wish for the company that you could say, okay, I want to say one wish that I want this company to represent in my time, what, what would that be? To pass it on to the next generation. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been successful so far. I mean, 1800, that's pretty impressive. Okay, well, I think we're, we've kind of, you know, touched base on everything you've done and we're going to look at some products as well. And thanks so much, Phil, for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for your visit. Thank you.